What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another Netflix review. If you guys are new here, feel free to click that subscribe button and that bell notification icon for more reviews, reactions, rankings, and more movie content. Today I'm going to be reviewing the newest movie releasing on Netflix this Thanksgiving week, and it is from an actress doing her directorial debut. That film is Bruised, which is the directorial debut of Halle Berry, and it stars Halle Berry. A disgraced MMA fighter finds redemption in the cage and the courage to face her demons when the son she had given up as an infant unexpectedly re-enters her life. So when it comes to MMA sports movies, the one that I obviously think of is Warrior back in 2011. That is just an all-out fantastic movie with Tom Hardy and Joel Edgerton. And then you have the concept for this movie, and Netflix is doing it, and it is directed by Halle Berry, fantastic actress. And a big thing that drew me to this movie was that it was her directorial debut. An actress directing a film sounds really interesting, and it is Halle Berry who has been in very hit or miss films. Netflix was able to hook me up with an early screener for this movie, and I finally watched Bruce. So what were my thoughts overall on this movie? Is it good, is it bad, or is it kind of forgettable of a film? It is gonna be very forgettable if I'm being completely honest. I just found the movie decent at best. Bruised isn't gonna knock you off your socks like Warrior did back in 2011, but I think the performances in here, especially from Halle Berry, I guess could draw your attention, but for me overall, I just found this movie Overall, meh. I think Halle Berry is very good in this movie, like she usually is at times. And her character is very unlikable at the start, but you really do see a transition for her character. The more gruesome she starts, the more kind-hearted she gets. It is a very awkward transition at the start, but I think Halle Berry takes the character in a very good direction. And you do see that good transition of her character and the great fighter that she is. And I think Halle Berry just does a great job in the fight sequences in this movie. The fight sequences are pretty good. I mean, they're pretty much what I expect to be good in this MMA mixed martial arts film. They gotta be good. And I do think they're pretty intense, especially in the final act, the final action sequence. It does find its way to be pretty brutal, especially with the punches that go down in this movie. And you do feel pretty much a lot of the punches going at our characters. And with Halle Berry's character, she's experiencing a lot of brutal punches. And I want to see that in a brutal sports movie like this. Like, the fight sequences are not squeaky clean. And direction-wise, Halle Berry did a decent job directing the fight sequences and the just character moments that are in the film. The way she's able to direct intense, brutal fight sequences and with just intense dialogue conversations between characters. Make it realistic to today's time period, for sure. The story is pretty generic and pretty cliche. Like, it feels like it's going with the formula of Warrior, like an unlikable lead character trying to redeem themselves, while there's no, like, brother and sister type of storyline in here. It does feel very formulaic to your typical sports, boxing film, whatever. I also found the pacing to be very sloppy in this movie, and this movie is just about almost two and a half hours long. Did it really need to be that long? Absolutely not. The pacing really drags down in the second and third act. Other than Halle Berry, I think everybody else is pretty bland and forgettable and not up to par. Like, the other characters aren't very likable as well. And just, it's Halle Berry pretty much carrying this movie on her shoulder. And I wanted to like other characters just as much as Halle Berry, so... That's also kind of an issue if I don't care about the other characters. I should care about a bunch more than Halle Berry. Before I give you guys my final overall thoughts on Bruised, if this is your guys first time checking out the channel and you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on this movie, definitely hit that like button and consider clicking that subscribe button for weekly reviews on this channel because I definitely do those. I do ranking videos and live Q and A's with my subscribers. If you love this review and you want to see more like this, Hit that like and subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss what content is coming out on this channel. Bruise definitely follows the formula of your typical sports, boxing, 
uh, MMA movie you've seen before. But Halle Berry does give a good performance in here. I did not like many other characters besides her. And this movie was too long for my taste. So overall, if you do like sports movies, I do recommend checking it out. But if you're not into this type of genre, then skip it. On my rating scale, I'm going to give Bruised a C. There you have it, guys. That was my thoughts on the new Netflix movie, Bruised. Thank you to Netflix for providing me an early screener for this movie. What did you guys think of this movie? Are you going to go check it out this week on Netflix, or have you seen it already? And if you've seen it, let me know your thoughts down below. That's not the only review this week, guys. We do have a lot more other movies coming out this week in theaters. Look forward to my reviews for Encanto, House of Gucci, and Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City for this Thanksgiving week. A lot of reviews come and look forward to it. Thank you guys seriously for watching this review. All my social media links are in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.